this is a universal piggyback irrigation system. It has a valve body, an actuator button, an inlet port, and an outlet port. It has a, a mounting pad and the strap that goes around the urethroscope and hooks onto this hook strap by itself. Now, the inlet port, as you see here, the water goes in here through the irrigation bag, and this is designed to resist kinking of the tube. The outlet port that comes out from here goes through. This is a check valve, and this is an injection port. And the end of this goes into the urethroscope, and this slips on and to tighten it up in place. The control of flow is from the actuator button, like so. It can be controlled drop by drop to a full flow, and when it clicks, if you let go of the hand, it will remain open. And when you want to stop it, you click it again, and it will stop. I will not, we will now talk about mounting it on different urethroscopes. Pause. Go ahead. This is the ACMI mini urethroscope. And I want to mount this, the, the valve here. And the way you do that is you hold the scope in your left hand. You place the valve where you want to hold it, like so, between your finger and the thumb on the other side. Here's the finger, here's the thumb. After you have held this in place, you bring the strap around, like so. Go around it and then fix it to the strap hook and the valve is mounted. The water inflow will come from here from the back and the outlet port will be connected to the irrigation port here on the urethroscope and this will be tightened up and you now have a mounted valve for single hand use like so. Anytime you want to inject contrast, you will use this port to inject contrast. This is a check valve to prevent the contrast coming back into the uh, valve body. One hand operation. Pause. Starts offset urethroscope. The valve can be mounted any way you want. It can be mounted here, like so. Again, you're holding it between your two fingers and your thumb on the other side. You bring the strap around and hook it onto the strap hook. Now the valve is mounted. If you want to hold the scope like this, again, the irrigation port will go in here. Sorry, the outlet tubing will go into the irrigation port here, and the valve will stay here and you can operate the valve with your thumb and your finger. Your right hand is completely free for instrumentation here. Alternatively, if you do not want to mount it here and you want to mount it on the eyepiece itself, you can do that too. Once you have placed it here, like so, strap it around, hook it and now you have it on the eyepiece and you can hold the scope like this and your hand your right hand is free for instrumentation while the flow is being controlled by this one hand this is a wolf urethroscope you the best place I think to mount this would be on the eyepiece itself again holding the scope in your left hand put the valve like so, 
glue the strap around and then hook it onto the strap hook. The outlet port will go into one of the side of here. The inlet port, the water will go in from here. And then you perform the ureteroscopy holding it like this, controlling the flow with this plunger and your right hand is completely free to do all instrumentation that you do so. All right, pause. This is a ACMI DUR8 Elite flexible ureteroscope. Again, the valve can be mounted anywhere along the shaft or the handpiece. The best place would be somewhere like so holding it again between your finger and your thumb on the other side. You bring the strap around and hook it like so. And then you have the irrigation port, the outlet port, that'll go here. And the water irrigation inflow will go in from here from the bag. Again, your flow of irrigant will be controlled by this plunger while your right hand remains free for any kind of instrumentation that you may be doing. At the same time, you can still deflect the urethroscope with the thumb while you control the flow from here.